Welcome my dear student teachers for the course knowledge and curriculum. We are now into the fourth curricular fourth unit curriculum designing development and evaluation. This is Dr. V. Girija, professor and head of the School of Education, Wales Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Chennai. Now this module is the first module of the fourth unit of the course knowledge and curriculum. This module deals with educational goals and trends in curriculum reform. The prerequisite of this module is every student teacher should have a knowledge of educational principles, learning theories, subject expertise, effective communication and awareness of educational trends and technologies. The objective of this module is to facilitate a meaningful learning experience that meet the needs of learners and achieve the desired educational outcomes. For which, let us discuss the educational goals and trends in curriculum reform. The current aim for India is to have an education system by 2040 and that is second to none, with equitable access to the highest quality education for all learners regardless of social and or economic background. In 2024, India's National Education Policy NEP will drive significant education reforms with a focus on STEM-based learning and skill-based education. Policy developments aim at promoting digital literacy and providing equitable access to quality learning methods. The previous policies, like the implementation of the previous policies on education has focused largely on the issues of access and equity. The unfinished agenda of the National Policy of Education 1986, modified in 1992, is appropriately dealt with this in this policy. A major development since the last policy of 1986 and 1922 has been the right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009 which laid down the legal underpinnings for achieving universal elementary education. Now, the principles of this policy, National Education Policy 2020, are recognizing, identifying and fostering uh, unique capabilities, the unique capabilities of each student by sensitizing teachers as well as parents to promote each student's holistic development in both academic and non-academic spheres. According to the highest priority to achieving foundational literacy, and numeracy by all students uh, by grade 3. Flexibility so that the learners have the ability to choose their learning trajectories and programs and thereby choose their own path in life according to their talents and interests. And no hard separations between arts and sciences, between curricular and co-curricular extracurricular activities, <coughs> between vocational and academic streams, etc. In order to eliminate harmful hierarchies, hierarchies among the silos between different areas of learning, multidisciplinary and holistic education across the sciences, social sciences, arts, humanities and sports for a multidisciplinary world in order to ensure the unity and integrity of all knowledge. Emphasis on conceptual understanding rather than rote learning and learning for exams and creativity and critical thinking to encourage logical decision making and innovation. Ethics and human and constitutional values like empathy, respect for others, cleanliness, courtesy, democratic spirit, spirit of service and respect for public property, scientific temper, liberty, responsibility, pluralism, equality and justice and promoting multilingualism and the power of language in teaching and language and life skills such as communication, cooperation, teamwork and resilience. Focus on regular formative assessment for learning rather than the summative, formative, uh, summative assessment that encourages today's coaching culture. Extensive use of technology in teaching and learning, removing language barriers, increasing access for the young students and educational planning and management, respect for diversity and respect for the local context in all curriculum, pedagogy and policy, always keeping in mind that education is a concurrent subject and full equity and inclusion as the cornerstone of all educational decisions to ensure 
that all students are able to thrive in the education system and synergy in curriculum across all levels of education from early childhood care and education to school education to higher education. Teachers and faculty as the heart of the learning process, their, recru uh, their recruitment, continuous professional development, positive working environments and service conditions. A light but tight regulatory framework to ensure int integrity, transparency and resource efficiency of the education system through audit and public disclosure while encouraging innovation and out-of-the-box ideas through autonomy, go good governance and empowerment. Outstanding research as a co-requisite for outstanding education and development. Continuous review of progress based on sustained research and regular assessment by education experts. A rootedness and pride in India as and its rich, diverse, ancient and modern culture and knowledge systems and traditions. Substantial investment in a strong, vibrant public education system as well as the encouragement and facilitation of true philanthropic, private and community participation. Curriculum reform aims to foster critical thinking, creativity and real-world application of knowledge. It emphasizes student-centered learning, digital literacy and the integration of emerging technologies. Additionally, there is a focus on holistic development including social and emotional skills to prepare students for a rapidly evolving global landscape. Recent trends in curriculum reform Recent trends in curriculum reform include a shift towards personalized learning, project-based assessment and interdisciplinary approaches. There is also an emphasis on STEAM that is science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics education as well as the integration of social and emotional learning. Cultivating digital literacy and adapting to the needs of a diverse and inclusive society are key considerations in modern curriculum reform efforts. The Vision of NEP 2020 This national education policy envisions an education system rooted in Indian ethos that contributes directly to transforming India, that is Bharat, sustainably into an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to all and thereby making India a global knowledge and superpower. The policy envisages that the curriculum and pedagogy of our institutions must develop among the students a deep sense of respect towards the fundamental duties and constitutional values bonding with one's country and a conscious awareness of one's roles and responsibilities in a changing world. The vision of this policy is to instill among the learners a deep-rooted pride in being Indian, not only in thought but also in spirit, intellect and deeds, as well as to develop knowledge, skills, values and dispositions that support responsible commitment to human rights, sustainable development and living and global well-being, thereby reflecting a truly global citizen. NEP on school education. This policy envisages that extant, that is, 10, uh, 10 plus 2 structure in school education will be modified with a new pedagogical and curricular restructuring of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4, covering ages 3 to 18. The curricular and pedagogical structure of school education will be reconfigured to make it responsive and relevant to the developmental needs and interests of the learners at different stages of their development. Corresponding to the age ranges of 3 to 8 and 8 to 11 and 11 to 14 and 14 to 18 years respectively. The curricular and pedagogical structure and the curricular framework for school education will therefore be guided by a 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 design consisting of the foundational stage in two parts that is 3 years of Anganwadi that is preschool plus two years in primary school in grades one to two and both together covering ages three to eight. Preparatory stage that is grades three to five covering ages from eight to eleven and middle stage grades six to eight covering ages eleven to fourteen and the secondary stage grades nine to twelve in two phases that is nine to nine and ten in the first and eleven and twelve in the second covering ages 14 to 18.